Hello, how you guys doing? My name is David Sabru from the Acts of Grace Thursday Night Bible Talk here in New York City, ICC. Anyway, guys, uh, what came to my mind today that I want to share with you guys today is the scripture in John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. See, a lot of us who are disciples, who are members in ICC, heard of the scripture. But I want to share you some of my conviction about the scripture, and this is just awesome. So, in John chapter 8, verses 31 32, it talks about to the Jews who have believed them. Jesus says, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So according to the scripture right here, we know that the Jews were the one to believe in Jesus. So these are the guys. But with Jesus, he said, the only way you could be a true disciple you need to hold on to the teachings of Jesus. Your belief in me is awesome, but it's not enough. Your feelings, your opinions, intellectual beliefs is not enough to be a true disciple unless you hold it on to the teachings of Jesus. Now, I want to share with you an idea of how holding to the teachings of Jesus looked like and I can share a little bit about myself. Now, I didn't plan on doing this video. Um, I'm just coming out of uh, Aaron Vishakini's place. We had a little Bible talk leaders meeting going on in his place with a little dinner and stuff. And I don't have my tripod and all. I gotta create something, you know. But I just thought, you know what? I'm in the Hudson River. I might as well share a video, you know. But anyway, moving forward. So, I don't have a Bible in my hand, but you see this hand guys this hand is Satan this is Satan's hand this hand is your hand and what's between Satan and your hand is the Bible just think of a Bible guys just picture at a Bible right in my hand for a second right so throughout the rest of our life Satan is going to wrestle with you to take the teachings of Jesus away from your hand. The moment, the point in time you are in difficulties, challenges, and hardship and troubles of any kind, Satan is right there to try to take the teachings of Jesus away from you because that's his only way to do that. But for you, if you are a disciple of faith, this is what faith says. Faith said, when I'm going through some hardship, some difficulties, some challenges, I'm going to pray. And, and if, if, if it's painful challenges that you're going through, then that's what we got to do, the Garden of Gethsemane prayer, and continue on to pray till our heart gets right, till we get stronger. And sometimes that may not be able to work. Sometimes what you need to do, according to James 5, 16, is confess to get healed. And that's when you call it on your spiritual mentors, people that are righteous in your life, people that are doing well spiritually. Because by you either going on your Garden of Gethsemane prayers or confessing, getting open to get healing, that's going to keep the Bible, the Word of God, the teachings of Jesus in your hand so Satan does not snatch it away. You see, over I've been here for over 11 years as a disciple, and you know, sadly, I saw many people that left the church. In my conviction, a lot of the times, what happened is when we let go of the teachings of Jesus, that can lead us to leaving the church. And how would that look like? You know, when we see challenges that we have in our personal lives, or maybe there's issues. Issues with your brothers or sisters. Maybe there's some things that you're not resolved or some things that you may not like what you see. If we go on our emotions and how to go about that, 
then we let go of the teachings of Jesus because we're not doing it the Bible's way. You're doing it your way. Our way don't work, guys, because Jesus is unconditional love. With us, guys, we're not unconditional love. As much as we want to be unconditional love, we want to have that kind of love, but think about it, guys. Face it. When your feelings get hurt, take some time to forgive, to get resolved. That's our natural human self. But with Jesus, as Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. So that's why Jesus' way of love is a lot better than our way. You know, uh, we think about sometimes when our feelings get hurt with brothers or sisters, or maybe we get corrected or rebuked, or whatever it is. We can tend to be like, aha, this is not the church because of that brother or sister. No, you did the Bible study. This is, we are part of the kingdom of God. We are part of it. You just gotta reconcile with that brother or sister. Just because one brother or sister that have a, that you have an issue with, uh, maybe you don't reconcile. It doesn't mean you gotta take them to the whole church like the church is an ex because of that one brother or sister. No, you gotta reconcile. That's part of holding on to the teachings of Jesus because the Bible teaches us how to go about everything. So not only just reconcile how to deal with conflicts in the church, it also teaches us how to love. It teaches us how to serve. How to be fully committed because 2nd Chronicles 16 9 talks about God gives strength to those whose hearts are fully committed. These are the teachings, guys, that we got to hold on to to be a true disciple of Jesus. And by doing that, then you will know the truth. And once you know the truth, that you got to hold on to the teachings of Jesus, then it's going to set you free from what? From sin. It's going to set you free from division. It's going to set you free from falling away. That's what's going to set you free from. And guys, I've been through a lot. I suffer a lot. I even made many mistakes. But I know what the teachings of Jesus says and how I go about my discipleship. And that's what I follow. It's not easy for me, guys. Every single day is a challenge. But I'm always going to go through issues and challenges. But do that means I got to let go of the teachings of Jesus because I'm going through some issues? No, I got to hold on to the teachings of Jesus. So do you. So guys, let's hold on to the teachings of Jesus if you want to be a true disciple. And you got to endure, persevere to the end because that's what Matthew chapter 24, 12 and 13 says. It says, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. How you be saved? Remain firm. Stand firm to the very end. Why? Because the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. When your heart grows cold, that means you let go of the teachings of Jesus. And when you let go of the teachings of Jesus, you will not stand firm to the end. I've been here over 11 years, guys. 11 years, and I'm telling the truth. Um, I have a deep conviction to be fully committed. It's not easy sometimes, but this is the only way out to the promised land, which is heaven. So guys, let's hold on to the teachings of Jesus to be a true disciple. Amen on that. Love you guys. God be the glory. Take care.